All right, everybody. It's your girl, Miss Jones, and I am going to go on ahead and start my reviews off right now. I was going to just start them on Tuesday, um, on tomorrow, uh, but um, I'm going to go on ahead and do this today and start off on this foot and just keep on going. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on Potomac. <clears throat> Real Housewives of Potomac, the part two of the reunion. And I haven't watched Basketball Wives yet, but I'm going to watch that. And if I have time today, then I'll do that. If not, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, first of all, I want to say, you know, Potomac is dope. They kind of like snooty acting and shit. So, you know, they really kind of get on my nerves. But at the same time, it is it can be good TV at times. Um, this season was like long and drawn out and had some good points, but not a whole lot of good stuff going on necessarily. And all we did was talk about Karen's damn tax problems and whether she lived in that big ass house with her and old ass Ray, Uncle Ben. Um, that was the main damn thing the whole damn season. And then, um, Giselle with that Sherman, uh, that was a pitch of it. it nothing really, really was going on this season, but, you know, we watched just for the hell of it. We ain't got shit better to do. Y'all know you don't. So, we gonna get into this, uh, reunion. So, uh, we start off this reunion, how the last one did, or this part of the reunion, um, how the last one did with Karen breaking down. Unfortunately, she lost both of her parents within a seven-month time span, which I cannot imagine. Don't even understand how she could be sitting there doing this damn reunion. I guess contractually she has to, because I would have been a hot-ass mess. But, you know, she she trying to push on through. I had actually wrote down some notes. Usually when I do videos, I don't write down notes. But I'm going to try this out and see how I like it. Anywho, um, you know, and then uh, one thing that I did like, uh, Monique said, um, while Karen was still away and getting herself together, Monique said that, you know, it's really hard when people are already prejudging you. And she feels that. So that's why she's not forthcoming. And she's not as open as you all are trying to make her be. Uh, duh, <laughs> dumbass people, like, Monique had to say that, Giselle was all, um, uh, oh, I'm devastated and all of this, but bitch, wasn't you the same bitch that walked up in there with free, um, Uncle Ben and tax problems, t-shirt and shit like that, man, fuck, fuck that damn Giselle, not team Giselle at all, I don't care what the hell happens with her, um, but, her and Karen are friends, and they just have a certain dynamic. Um, they were talking about um, working on their relationship and keeping their friendship, which, you know, to each his own. That's fine. Um, Candace and this uh, wedding, um, they're asking if uh, she going to invite Giselle. Giselle, did I already say she don't want to go? And Candace is like, well, fuck you too, bitch. I ain't finna um, get you no $500 plate, and bitch, you don't even want to be here, ain't gonna eat the damn food, probably gonna come in there, read and fulfill everything that she see that she would have had another type of way, oh, look at that, uh, draping over there, oh, look at that chair over there, she gonna come in there hating like hell, I wouldn't invite that bitch neither, next, oh, no, nah, but then she said she'll be fine at home, that's what, um, uh, Candy said, she don't need to come to the wedding, she'll be fine at home, you damn right. Hun, uh, burnt up as Sherman. Maybe. Because who knows what the fuck he on. Anywho. Sharice. This bitch. I never liked this bitch on this show. It's like sometimes she could have a good ass, um, you know, comment or comeback or whatever like that. This bitch started this whole Kendall shit. It's her. She the one did the shit. And didn't want to sit there acting like, oh, oh, let me push this over on Monique. Fuck that damn Sharice. You the bitch that trying to bring that motherfucker on the damn show. And then what I don't understand is, Giselle sitting up here being mad at, at Monique about the whole situation. But then she ain't mad at Sharice. But Sharice sitting there saying, yeah, bitch, I didn't really too much like you. So I was trying to do something to get up underneath your skin because I ain't too much like your ass no way. What part of that do Giselle not hear? 
Do you hear that? That's the bitch that you need to be pointing the fingers at, not Monique. These stupid bitches. Let me get through it. Sherman, raggedy ass, um, having fun in a park at dark, um, whatever. Who gives a fuck? I don't really give a damn about uh Giselle and Sherman. Next, Monique and Sharice. That's really kind of unfortunate, but then again, Monique, like, Monique is my kind of bitch. Loyal to a father, all of that. You know, sometimes that can kind of get you messed up, but she a loyal ass bitch. You can tell that Sharice is a backstabbing ass bitch just to be in highfalutin categories or levels of the community. Fuck that damn Sharice, I say yet again. She's a mess. And sitting up here, you know, going back and forth with she set Monique up. That's what she did. She used them. Um, Chris and Candace. Um, the white Chris. <coughs> Why is we still talking about his damn penis? What difference do it make if he got a brown penis or a white penis? I really don't give a shit. Uh the sad part about this is the fact that he has not been able to communicate with his older son and He's been trying to reach out and everything like that, and that's not happening. I do pray, you know, as a mother myself, I didn't, I never had a father, but I, with me and my husband and our kids, I see how important that role is, and I would hope that he will be able to have that communication with his child. Hopefully, that will work out. I really do pray for that. Um, Monique and Chris. Chris is all smiling and shit now, child. He done, um lost 35 pounds, he says. And um, Eddie asked him, how you lose all that weight? And he said, sex at home. I know that's right. That's why I'm all slim. We be getting it in. <laughs> Woo! But on a serious note, now this is some fucked up shit. When Monique had that car accident up in there, whatever the hell she was driving, Bentley, Rolls Royce, whatever the hell she was driving, <coughs> after she had left from um Ashley. Sorry, y'all. My throat is like, oh, okay, I'm good. My dog is like driving me damn crazy, and I got bad allergies, so my throat is like itching like hell. Anywho. Um, Monique with the car accident and everything, and then Ashley was running around talking about, oh yeah, she had like three or four drinks. I'm gonna get on that bitch later. Um, so the fucked up part was to find out that um people are going on social media saying that she had a miscarriage because she's an alcoholic, and I think that is absolutely ridiculous. I've had three miscarriages. Yeah, I've had three miscarriages and two uh chemical births that um my kid and my dog out there what they did um anyway i i went through that and it wasn't as a result nobody really even truly knows why you miscarry you know some people body in a certain way or i have four children you know i i've given birth like these people are walking around and growing my body so it's not like i couldn't have babies but at that time whatever that time it is no one can truly tell you what it is however it's a, it's a death it's like yay i'm pregnant and then it's like the whole world come crashing down and the baby is gone you know what i'm saying so you for somebody to say that because she's an alcoholic you know and that's the problem with social media and all this bullshit because people always got a goddamn opinion about some shit and don't even know what the fuck they talking about like shut the fuck up and and she got the crying and things like that. It's still sensitive. Even me, even talking about it right now, I feel it in, in my throat, like a frog in my throat. Losing them babies. That that's so, It comes out of you, out of your body. And you have to see that and figure out what to do with that mass that would have been a baby. Like, these stupid motherfuckers. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. The bitch is not a damn alcoholic. Thank God she is pregnant now and the baby is healthy and everything is going well. And I'm praying and rooting for her and, um, and Chris. Uh, you know, fuck these haters. Now, on to Karen. <laughs> like I said, all we've been talking about is goddamn Karen and these goddamn taxes in this damn Great Falls house. Who gives a fuck? Ain't nobody gonna go over there and pay all that damn tax money for the bitch or Mr. Uncle Ben. So, shut up. Who cares? I don't care if the bitch lives in the side house or the big house. Who gives a shit? And if she want to be highfalutin, if she lying and just being highfalutin, so the fuck what? 
and you gonna get her somewhere to stay at, you gonna pay them damn tax bills and buy them badass wigs for her. If you ain't doing that, then shut the fuck up. I'm so sick of them bothering them, and I understood um how Ray was like, we don't owe nobody no damn explanation. You damn right you don't. I don't give a shit. Take care of your household and do your thing. Shit. Then the damn lights went off out on him while they was uh filming a damn reunion, child. Oh my god. I, I actually what was so funny about it to me is that he looked better with the lights off. <laughs> he did. Cause he was like shiny like me, like y'all see I'm shiny. You know. He was shiny as hell up underneath them damn lights. Um, what else I was gonna talk about? Oh yeah, then they was talking about that, that pizza. That um, who was it? Giselle, Ashley, Robin. When they had took that damn pizza and Robin dressed up in drag and shit. And then the goddamn landscaper man, his people get in trouble because he thinking it's his people that left the damn pizza on this big dumb ass million dollar house. And he cussing out his damn employees. When it was these stupid bitches. How immature you got to be? What like what grade is you in? You, bitches knocking on 40 if you ain't already 40. What who the fuck does shit like that? I, I'm sick of and that damn Robin, she was pretty much silent on this part of this damn reunion. And she should be, period. This bitch don't even need to be around. Go find Juan and see who he fucking behind your back. Uh on the Mr. Blue Eyes. Um I think his ass is running around and talking shit about Karen and he needs to check that. She needs to check that motherfucker because he's saying multiple people keep on saying that he's talking about her behind her back and she needs to check that motherfucker. Real. For real. Now, um, Michael and Ashley. Uh, Michael, shut the fuck up. Why is you so goddamn concerned about goddamn Karen and Ray's uh, establishment where they staying and shit? All up in their goddamn business. Damn, and no wonder you and Ashley be to, uh, all together like that because she's a messy ass bitch like that too. Always up in somebody goddamn business running her little yeah, 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 motherfucking Minnie Mouse voice ass, ha having ass. Always running her goddamn mouth. If they don't take this fucking bitch somewhere and put her away for forever, just take her away. But maybe they need to just like pack up, move, go to Australia and shit. He still probably have his crooked ass businesses in the United States but get your ass away we don't even want you no more throw it all away throw both of y'all away I'm so sick of that bitch Ashley and I'm sick of that motherfucker Michael he constantly sitting up here talking about her mama and the, granted the mama ain't had her shit together however there is a, a, a it should be some type of respect to where you can um uh, identify issues however you do not disrespect nobody's mama you do not talk to a woman and say, I don't know if I want to have kids because you might raise our kids how your mama raised you. So now what he's saying about you, you stupid bitch. And I think she's just trying to get a damn baby so she can um, go ahead and solidify the coin. Okay. Um, but on a, a serious note, she apparently had um, miscarried. Uh, was pregnant, miscarried two weeks into the pregnancy. She must have some good ass doctors because I don't remember nobody telling me the date and time of my miscarriages. But whatever, she got he got going, so whatever. Um, but that is unfortunate, and for that part, I can't stand this bitch whatsoever. But I would never, as Monique said, I would never wish that on anybody. It is so horrible, and it sticks with you. It stays with you. So I hope everything is going good with that. Uh, Karen gave her a cease and desist and told her to shut the fuck up. Good. Um, and then her, her, um, her mama, Ashley mama, um, boyfriend got a job. He working full time now. So that's good. So, uh, look, my baby is coming up now. But, uh, I think <clears throat> this was a good combination. I'm glad it's two parts and not like no four part shit because it wasn't that much to talk about. Um, but everybody is good. I hope everybody, you know. You know, Jose, I go down the line. Candace, I'm here for Candace. I want to see some more of her. Um, Monique, love her. Love Karen. She get on my damn nerves, but I still love her, like her character. Um, Giselle, I can do without, to be honest. But there's a reason why she's on that show. I mean, that's just the reality of it. 
um, Ashley throw that bitch to the wolves. Not to the hills from which come her help from Jesus. Throw her to the wolves. I don't ever want to see her no more. Um, Robin, I guess, with her dry self, she's sticking around, but I mean, I'm kind of bored with her storyline. Let me try to get my money up and get my ex-husband back. I, I don't know. Like, really, what does she do? Nothing. And people were talking about her women's event. All she doing is charging people coming in here to hear people talk. Whatever. Uh, who else? Sharice. She needs to, like, if she around, I need somebody to read the fucking dog shit out of Sharice. This bitch with that, she sit here like, yeah, so, I, you know, no, that is not what happened. Like, the way she be talking, she uses that. It's kind of like, um, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for, y'all? It'll come to me later, and then I'll be mad because <laughs> I can't think of the damn word. But, you know, she uses that type of persona to hide her messiness. The bitch is behind half the shit that was happening with the whole Sharice thing, and she got away with the shit. Why would somebody put shit out of this bitch? Because I ain't never liked her. Ugh. Oh, I hate her so much. No, let me take that back. I hate. I highly dislike this bitch, Sharice. Her and that damn Giselle. Ashley, I don't really. I, it's not really a dislike. It's just like she just annoying as fuck. Like just go away, like a puppy. Like how I be doing with my dog. Like get out of here. That's how Ashley is. And how I have met you too. Kind of like a poodle. Some shit. But anywho, y'all, that's my review. Um, I'm trying to get back into the. Um, into the habit of doing videos. I really want to build my channel. I've been on YouTube for a long time. Um, I started my first channel back in like 2008. Um, and it's floating around the internet somewhere still. Um, but I really did enjoy it. And I really want to come back and create good content and stuff like that. So y'all make sure to comment down below. Get your responses. What did you think about these bitches this season? What, what did you think about the reunion and, and the conclusion? about it what do you think about Sharice being a, a backstabbing ass bitch Ashley being a big mouth nosy ass bitch and Giselle being a hating ass snobby ass bitch let me know y'all down below make sure you rate comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell because videos will be coming all right love y'all peace